Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own inexpensive all-purpose fertilizer. And if you want to subscribe, this is going to be a three-part series. I'm going to show you how to make an all-purpose fertilizer, a leafy greens higher nitrogen fertilizer, and a bulb and root fertilizer higher in phosphorus. We're going to do this by buying any of these organic granular fertilizers that are on sale or you can buy the cheapest I'll talk about other ways you can purchase these now we are making it but we're saving money because these are all at least 75 percent off in my area come october november december january maryland zone 7 on the east coast where we get a winter all these products go on sale for instance this one was uh, 14 dollars. i got it for three dollars so you're going to save money by buying stuff on sale. I know that's kind of a cop-out, but it makes sense because of this. You're going to see fertilizer that says heirloom tomato fertilizer. This is a two nitrogen, five phosphorus, three potassium, N, P, and K. Tomato, remember that. Then you come over to this one. This says vegetable and tomato food, a three, five, six, N, P, and K. And then you come over to this one. It says rose, three, four, three, N, P, and K. Organic Garden Tone for Herbs and Vegetables, 344. First thing in saving money, you don't need specialized fertilizers with different names on them for your plants. You're going to make, or I'm going to make, I'm going to teach you how to do it, make an all-purpose fertilizer. This is all the same stuff. This is what kind of drives me crazy. When you look at the ingredients, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, let me get close. It says derived from bone meal, poultry manure, sulfate of potash. These are all organic. When you come over to this one, it says poultry litter, uh, feather meal, bone meal, sulfate of potash. These are all basically the same ingredients, just giving you different N, P, and K numbers. Generally speaking, an all-purpose fertilizer has a little bit lower nitrogen, a little higher phosphorus and potassium. Nitrogen is more for uh, leaf growth, generally speaking. Phosphorus and potassium is more for root development and fruit development, generally speaking. However, you need all of these for the functions of your plants. Coming over to this one, feather meal, bone meal, poultry manure, sulfate of potash. This one says for roses, same ingredients as those. Don't get fooled and think you have to buy something for raised beds, herbs, roses, tomato, vegetables, heirloom tomatoes. Why, why even say that? A tomato's a tomato. Then you come over to the last one. Also says, let's see if I can get that in there. Feather meal, poultry manure, alfalfa meal, green sand, all kinds of stuff. So you get the idea. Now a good all-purpose fertilizer, use it for anything that grows in your garden is around a 555 N, P, and K up or down a few numbers. When we go into the other videos, if you want to subscribe, we're going to increase the nitrogen for leafy greens. We're going to increase the phosphorus for the bulb and root. So these are all different weights. And basically what this says, by volume, there's 2% nitrogen, 5% phosphorus, 3% potassium in here. Same thing, by volume in here, three, five, six, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. So if I take out a handful, it's 3%, 5%, 6%. If I take out a handful, it's 2%, 5%, 3%. By understanding that, we can mix these together, make our own all-purpose fertilizer. So first thing is buy what's on sale. You're gonna see four pounds and maybe $12. You might see, you know, five pounds, uh, $14. Divided out the amount of pounds into the amount that you have to pay for it. I really recommend paying like not more than a dollar per pound for your organic fertilizers. If you're buying them in a bag, it's, you know, for convenience and that's okay. But some products are charging you two, three dollars a pound for all this crazy stuff. You don't need that. If you buy it on sale, you're going to even save more money. You can make this for 50 cents a pound. So we're going to take equal measures of these different fertilizers and I'm going to show you how you can change the number on here and we're going to just put it in to the all-purpose bucket. So to keep it simple you don't have to make this mix. What I wanted to really stress is you're going to see different names on here and the variation in the N, P, and K is so insignificant you can use any of these as an all-purpose fertilizer. So if you find them on sale you could just use them from the bag and just 
go through them. I like to mix them together because I add in nitrogen and phosphorus, I add in lime, and I kind of make the fertilizer more specific to leafy greens, to bulbs and roots, and then I put in the uh, lime or calcium to help with blossom end rot. So to make your general all-purpose fertilizer, you're going to work in equal parts. It doesn't matter if it's a big uh, bowl or a measuring cup like this or a tiny shot glass. As long as you're using the same size container for each of these, it's going to be considered one part. So it's going to be one part of each of these, and I want to show you how you figure out the new N, P, and K. So first part is the 344, second part is a 343, third part is a 356, fourth part is a 253. You total these up, you have the numbers 11, 18, 16. It is not an NPK of 11, 18, 16. It's just the total of these four. And because you used four parts, you then have to divide these numbers by four. And you end up with your new fertilizer is a 2.8, 4.5, 4 N, P, and K. So I'm going to put one part of each of these into my container down here and we'll go to the next step. Once you have that base, you can start adjusting these numbers for something more specific. I add in wood ash. Again, like I said, I add in lime. You don't have to do that. But this is just a great way to take what is on sale or at least expensive and make your own fertilizer. Pay no attention to if it says herb or tomato or leafy green or whatever. You're looking at these numbers. Sometimes this number might be as high as 9 or 10. This one could be as high as 12 or 15. Same for this. Those are more specialty fertilizers and we'll talk about those in the next video. So again, do this by equal measures. Weight, volume, do vary um, and make some difference but really not that much to worry about it. You can just go by the volume of the measure. When you look at these, you can see the particles are about the same size. And that's all you're really looking for. I mean, generally, they weigh the same. Um, they, some might have more volume because they're bigger particles, uh, more airspace in there, but you don't have to over worry about that. Equal measures in here, mix it together. I like to use that size measuring cup because it fills these five gallon containers up about halfway. If you fill it all the way up and then try and mix it, it's going to spill everywhere. So don't do that. So this is my basic all-purpose fertilizer. And to that, I'm going to add some garden lime. So N, P, and K are your macronutrients. That's what your garden needs the most, most of the time. But they also need the next level, which is uh, sulfur, calcium, and magnesium. Calcium helps ensure that you don't get blossom end rot, although that often comes from a watering issue, but you want to know that you've supplied calcium. You're not going to do equal measures of the garden lime for this because it's just set up differently. I just put in about three handfuls into something like this, and that's going to supply, let's see if I can get this on here, it's going to supply calcium, magnesium in different forms. And you can see it's like 21%, or just trust me if you can't see it, 21% 20%, calcium, 10% uh, magnesium, 29% calcium uh, oxide, and it goes down the list. So these percentages are really high. That's not why we're not doing an equal measure. You're just going to mix that calcium through. And now in your all-purpose fertilizer, you have NPK, you have calcium, and you have magnesium. And this is going to be great. You can use it however you want to. For the all-purpose fertilizer, something like this is great. You generally have less nitrogen, that's plenty to help your plants establish, and then you have phosphorus and potassium. If you wanted to raise these numbers, you would add in another part, a fifth part, so you would divide by five, of something like this. This is a nine nitrogen, two phosphorus, seven potassium. So that's gonna raise this number to 20, this number to 20, and this number to, what is that, 23. Then you would divide by five and you're gonna end up with a four, four, and a little bit higher, 4.6 or something like that. Very well balanced. That's what you want for an all-purpose fertilizer. Now you may not be able to find all this, that's why I say around a five, 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 NP or K, up or down a few numbers, um, really doesn't matter. This is how you set up an all-purpose fertilizer 
Don't worry about the names, buy it on sale, use whatever you want. The other thing that you're going to see is that a lot of these say they are enhanced with uh, biosome or it has microbes in there or it has bacillus, whatever in there. That's great if you want to buy products like that. Don't pay more just because they're in there. If you look into my garden, it's middle of October. I don't use any of that. That soil life is already in your soil. It comes from compost. It's already living there. If your soil is missing that, you're in a lot of trouble. So don't get tricked into thinking you need to buy the one that has all these microbes and stuff in there. You don't need to do that. In fact, if you want to add in some good stuff, I am affiliated with uh, Vermisterra. You can find a coupon in the video description. These are worm castings. And if you want, you can take a couple handfuls of worm castings. They have natural growth hormones in there and throw in, you know, four or five handfuls. I'm not gonna do them all, save some time. Mix that through. There's also microbes in there, bacteria, all that kind of stuff. That will be present in your now all-purpose fertilizer. If you wanna do that, you don't have to. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. We're gonna take this to the next level. We're going to increase the nitrogen with blood meal, increase the phosphorus with bone meal, and I'm gonna show you how to make a leafy green fertilizer and a bulb and root fertilizer. Again, thanks for watching. Please check out the video description. I now have a podcast I'm doing with Callie Kim. She's on the West Coast. We're doing three podcasts a month now. And please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com.